Can you sacrifice me? Who you want to be sacrificed to? Some crazy shit. We can sacrifice them. Yeah, we can. I I don't want to though. I don't do sacrifices. I just do hard work. And if I'm gonna sacrifice anything, it's gonna be myself. Dex tried to sacrifice me, so I had to keep my distance. He tried to sacrifice me. Who the fuck is God? XXX Tentacion is an artist that doesn't need an introduction. He was taken over the music scene by a storm and had a cult like following, but unfortunately would pass away at the age of 20. A lot of rumors would go around, and in this video, we're finna talk about it. Before the X fans do get mad, I did want to say one thing, man. I did personally rock with X before he passed away, and I was low key hurt when he did pass away, bro, because he was a good artist. I'm not gonna lie, I did even look up to him at one point. So, this video is not like a hate video to X or anything like that at all. Rest in peace to X, man. And if you were finna leave a hate comment, bro, what is wrong with you, first of all? But you might as well just wait till the end of the video, because you don't even know what I'm about to say for real. If y'all did want to see me upload more videos on my other channels, I will do that. Y'all let me know in the comments. But let's get back into the video, bro. There's so much proof backing up the claims. Shout out to the truth is for giving me inspiration for the theories of this video. And don't forget to watch to the end, bro. X would often talk about his death, and before he died, he said he wasn't gonna make it past 21. A video of Gazzy, the CEO of Empire, the label X was signed to, said this in a documentary. And he was fucking around with the chopsticks, and we were just sitting there, and we started talking about kids. And he was like, You're gonna be a great dad. So you gonna be a great dad too someday, bro. He said, no, I'm not. I said, what do you mean? And he just looked me dead in the eye and he was like, I'm not gonna make it past 21. And he just went right back to fucking with the child. Like he hadn't said a thing. After seeing this, it's pretty crazy to think that X was saved. I'm not going to be going over his upcoming in this video. I'm pretty sure you can find a lot of videos on his upcoming. If you want me to make a video going over it though, y'all let me know in the comments. In this video, we're going to be going back to when X was 17 and he was homeless and had nowhere to sleep. He would meet a man named Bruno Dickham in 2015. But there's something you should know about Bruno. He was actually an adult film star who was very known. And around that time, he had his own show where he would film tapes with popular artists. Hold up, pause. Well, he would be behind the camera recording the rapper and the female. And surprisingly, it was very popular. Allegedly, X had his own episode film too. Yeah. I did a couple scenes with Bruno. Bruno Dickham, shout out Bruno Dickham, shout out uh, Groupie Lust, shout out Becky the Groupie, follow Becky the Groupie on Twitter. Like, there's not much to it, bro. Like when I was a kid, like I always wanted to. I, I loved fucking. You feel me? I love. I love fucking bitches. Like I just thought it was cool. Like, excuse my. Excuse my language. I love. I love fucking females. And like I thought. It, I thought it was. I thought it was cool. Like I thought it was cool to like. Fuck. Yeah, there's no other way way to put it. Like, porn was porn was my inspiration for a while. That's how I, also what built my name, the XXX in my name. Like, a lot of a lot of pornography or anything sensual or anything requiring nudity was always caught my interest. You know, like I didn't. I I just thought it was cool. X would reach out to Bruno and ask him to be a part of members only. Bruno accepted. X was even staying at his crib in Miami. You're probably wondering why did X and Bruno get along so well? And in this video, we're going to be going over the dark truth of their friendship. Another rapper that was very close to X named Ski Mask would also record music at Bruno's crib. They recorded the song Take a Step Back and it blew up, reaching new people. But what Ski said X tried to do to him is what caused their friendship to end. And it might have been because what Bruno was influencing X to partake in. Bruno was actually a part of a cult and was a worship of occultist Aleister Crowley. People that went to his house would often say things like he would perform rituals. According to the girl he managed, she came out in an interview and said that he would sacrifice the souls of women he would record adult films with. He was recording in his house. Yo, if I tell you some real shit right now, like, I'm gonna tell you some crazy shit. Like, oh, the, shit. These, these kids, like, what I've heard, what they did at Bruno's house, Bruno never did that in the house when I was there. He just, like, beat girls up and, like, put them in cages and, like, yeah, like, regular, like, mob boss shit. Yeah, like, you know, crazy. And then what I heard later on, was I guess after he started living with these kids, they started doing like blue hattie up. Like, he started doing that shit. And like these are facts, like Wi Fi, funeral, and all these guys. Like, even Juice World would say that shit. He was like, yeah, like Bruno was doing like some, they were doing some weird shit. Even ex. Yeah, yeah, they were like, they were when Florida they were doing, has that, Louisiana has that shit. Bro, crazy. I didn't, I didn't know because when I was living there, like they wasn't doing that. And then I heard that I was like, yeah, no, like, crazy. So Everglades shit, like yeah. crazy witch doctor. Yeah, they were getting, the, supposedly they got some of the girls and did like some weird shit. Like, yeah, they, like they can sacrifice. Um, oh, blood. Just they don't them up somehow, so like they pass out and they're like, knocked out and then like do crazy shit maybe yeah. sacrifice I don't know and in an interview she said that X would also do the same things that Bruno would do and it wasn't just like it was this one girl coming out with these claims because in another interview of another girl came out basically saying the same thing confirming it the guy that that had the model house he was a male talent too I actually can't stand him his, his name's Bruno he does some satanic oh, shit now 
oh, with the yeah. girls. He's no one to fuck around with. He does some. He sacrifices girl's soul when he fucks them on top of his bed because he has like the gates of hell pentagon drawn underneath his bed, and he sacrifices girl's soul on top of the um, bed when he fucks them. So. Let everybody, let the world know that because that is some real demonic shit and that's not cool. No, that's some real shit that needs to be publicized. Anyways, X Sex X does the same thing. For real? Yeah, he sacrifices his best friend's soul, Ski Mouse. For real? Sacrifices his soul. And in a lie, Bruno even said it himself, going as far as calling himself Bathamon. Smart question. Because most people don't even ask, they assume. Is it metaphorical? You know what? You're the first one to hit it on the dot. Thank you. That right there is a metaphor for myself. That's me. I am the fucking Baphomet. On the wall, you see a painting in a bathroom, and there was a picture of X taking a picture in front of the same painting. It was clear that Bruno was in X's head. One of the greatest young minds in human music history was influenced by numerology and astrology himself in the occult, correct? Go ahead. Um, these are some of his books, just to so have an idea of where his mind was and the things that he found interesting. Where so he was definitely into the occult, numerology, and everything. astrology. Uh huh. Wow. Everything. And there's more here. Magic of believing. And uh, 48 laws of power, mythology, um, magic, everything. So Very nice. See the model. Um, astrology and where's the book that he uh, gave you the eight, I'm looking for it and the reason that's mm -hmm. important is because she's an eight life path in numerology your son knew that that's why he gave you that book this is no doubt that one of the greatest young minds in human music history was influenced by numerology and astrology himself in the occult, correct? Correct. This is his mother telling you this. Correct. Beautiful. And I do want to remind everyone watching this video to respect everyone's beliefs. There was an incident that happened. Geneva, his ex, came out and said while she was at Bruno's crib, she had weird vibes and felt like she was being possessed. She also said that ex called one of his homeboys for members only, SB, to perform an exorcism. I was being possessed. I know that sounds stupid, but to me it wasn't stupid because i'll say it was really into the spiritual like you know and it just backfired because y'all say got on the phone and called sb and he was like yo i know your parents or your, your auntie do woo come over here and try to like save this and they came over there had me in a room they started putting like charcoal and like some type of rocks in my nose they were drawing crosses on my feet. And that's when all those allegations came out. Like, you beat up this girl. That, that was at Bruno's house. It's crazy. Yeah. All that yeah. shit went on. Like, it's crazy. So that was like the center of yeah. all the... No one knows that it was Bruno. Really? And, and now none of X's mom, his friends, none of those people fuck with Bruno. Because he really got this kid into like a bad like, lifestyle. Bruno's crib was basically becoming known for the spot that members only and other rappers who wanted to make a name for themselves would go to. Bruno most likely wanted them all to be a part of them, but while all this was happening behind the scenes, X would still be working on music during this time. He even made a song called I Spoke With The Devil In Miami, he said everything would be fine. And in the song you hear him mention his deal with Bathamon. Everything was starting to make sense, and in the song he goes over how he made a deal with Bathamon by buying an app, and also asked the devil to give him everything he wants. Quickly. Bite off your apple, give me all you can offer. Now I'm trapped in a changing maze, setting my soul ablaze. Couldn't control the pace. Words is going hey, heartless is reckless. Yes, this word of a pacifist, some word of a masochist. Some all for the man, my lord. I spoke to a bad for me. He said he would save me if I gave him one thing he needed. What is this thing I pleaded? Boy, you're secreted, even. And as I spoke, my fingers are strong. Taking it back, he smiles and tells me. What you crave is from yours. But what I crave is already mine. Only mine. Only mine. Only mine, first. Only mine. It's crazy cause they say the devil will give you everything you want just for your soul. And X might have accepted that offer. Damn, this is the first time I'm letting them see my hair. 
my hair is just a reminder of telling me to to fucking relax basically it's a it's a reminder of me telling myself that yo you you are human and that you are not a god you are still on the planet earth and that you need to remind yourself that karma is a real thing and whatever you give out you will get back could X have sacrificed someone and was that person himself? Cause in the song he says that Batman told him that he craves something that will soon be his. Basically saying that he wants his soul and he already has it cause X already sold it to him. I did want to remind everyone watching this video that this is all speculation. This is not 100% fact so take everything with a grain of salt. But what is 100% fact is that he would get arrested for abusing his girlfriend at the time Geneva. All this allegedly happened at Bruno's crib. He would be gone for a while but would get out because of what we're going to be going over next. After he got out his song look at me started to blow up overnight and empire immediately signed But him. the word going around was that this all happened because of a phone call that X had in jail He was getting instructions on how to perform a ritual that basically helped him to get to where he's at now A lot of people think this is why his life changed on the phone. He was doing a sacrifice ritual to Hecate. Yes, I can hear you. Shit. Summoning Hecate Hecate goddess of crossroads darkness witchcraft wisdom uh, and the moon please come uh, to me please right, so tell me how to, tell me how to spell the um the, the name summoning the h ray huh h e c a t e is the h ray that i was saying wait h e h e c a t e h e c a t e h e c a t e yeah goddesses of crossroads goddess or goddess i mean yeah goddess of crossroads goddess uh, Darkness, witchcraft, Darkness. wisdom, Darkness. Witchcraft. and the moon. Wait, hold on. Darkness, witchcraft, wisdom, wisdom, and what? And the moon. And the moon. Please come to me. Huh? Please come to me. Please. Please come to me. Please. Please. Heck it. Please come to me. Please. Heck it. Yeah. Please. Protect me and bring me freedom. Protect me and bring me freedom. Mm hmm. Do this sacrifice. Bring me freedom to this Do the sacrifice, okay? Um. Treat me as if one of your own. Treat me as one of your own. And give me all that is needed. Oh, uh, um, give me all that is needed? That's what you yeah, mean? yeah. Hey, Kate, surround me in your darkness. H-E-C-A-T-E, -E, right? Okay. H-E-C-A-T-E. -E. Surround me. Surround me in your darkness so that I can bring forth my light. So that... Listen, if I have to call back, I want you to put, money, put like $50 on the phone, okay? So that... I'm gonna so try because I don't know how much. I'm gonna try right. and so see how I much money I got on it too. So that I may what? Uh, uh, I may. So that I can bring forth my life. So that I may br may bring forth or can bring forth. So that I can. So that I can bring forth my life. Yeah. Is that Accept it? this sacrifice. My. I'm gonna just spell out the rest because I don't know what else she wanted me to say soon. Is there a lot left or no? It's just a few sentences, like it's like a sentence, so... Alright, hey, listen. Ready? So, wait, so that mm. I can bring forward my life. So that I can bring forward my life. I accept the sacrifice. Mm-hmm. Okay, I accept the sacrifice. I-G-I-V-E. Wait, I, wait. I... I'm just spelling it first. I-G-I-V-E. Y-O-U. Y-O-U. A-L-O. A-L-L. O. F. O-F Yeah, M-Y M-Y D-E-M-O-N-S Wait, what? Oh, D-E-M-O-N-S D-E-M-O-N-S Okay, yeah. F-O-R-E-V-E-R Wait, F-O-R F-O-R E-V-E-R I-N I-I-M I-N I what? I-N I-N, okay E-X-T E-X-H Wait, E-X what? E-X-T-H E-X-T E-X-T-H A-N-G-E Yeah The number 
So F O R F O R Yes M as in mom Y Y F R E E D O M O M Okay S O Huh S as in snake O O M as in mom O T E Wait, S O M M O T E S O M No, it's so and then M O T E So M wait, so is that word together or No, it's just so and then the next just race it. Wait, S so wait. So S O M O T E? Yes. M O T E. Yes, that's what it says. I mean she sent me a picture. I mean it B. Huh? And then it B after that. I T B E? No, I T B E, yeah. I T B E. This call is from the Miami Dade Turner Guilford Knight Correctional Center. So it's F O M O T E I T B E. Yeah, unless she like messed it up, it looks like a T, like for a fact, because I'm zooming in. You have sixty seconds remaining. Alright, alright, listen, I'm gonna call back uh, please. During the phone call, you hear the person on the phone say it was a sacrifice ritual and ended the ritual off with so mo to be, which is a Masonic saying. He wrote all this down and would be released. Once he came home, he was a superstar and was at the top of the world. But at what cost? Was X really using sacrifice rituals to further his career? In a speech he posted on SoundCloud, he basically shouted out Teflon Sean and told him that he needs to make a SoundCloud and to study the Golden Beetle. And if you're wondering what is the Golden Beetle, well, basically, it's an Egyptian deity connected to initiation ritual. Doing a little bit of digging teflon sean is 100 percent a satanist just by looking at his instagram when you look at his twitter bro it gets even worse trust me if you thought his instagram was bad when you go to his twitter you'll see some very cryptic messages and he was even talking about geku x's son again let me remind you that the phone call happened before x blew up 10 days before he died he posted a music video to the song sad in the music video it was x attending his own funeral and this wouldn't be the only time he hinted his own death when x passed away there was a conspiracy that drake did it and i'm pretty sure he was even mentioned in the case because x said if anyone ever killed him it was drake and he posted on instagram saying that drake was after him then i would have shut up but otherwise it's like you tried to sacrifice me bro you tried to sacrifice me you could put that you could put that as a caption if you want the nigga tried to sacrifice me because look at it this way i'm in jail i had a pbl charge i'm facing life now, that's what nobody realized. I was facing life. I'm facing life, my, which was one of my favorite rappers. You know what I'm saying? Because everybody everybody loved Drake, bro. Everybody loved Drake. I still respect the nigga for his music. You know what I'm saying? I just can't respect what he did to me. You feel me? Everybody loved Drake, bro. Do you think he deliberately did it or maybe like... Yeah, bro. Fuck yeah, bro. Fuck yeah, bro. And I'm not going to say no names, nigga. A DJ hit me up. Not only a DJ, my manager at the time hit me up, said, yo, this nigga Drake hit us up and he wants to talk to you. He said he watched the interview, he fucks with you. Bro, on God, bro, on my fucking, bro, on my fucking life, bro, my mom, bro, on my mom, fam. These niggas hit me up and said this shit, bro. Nigga, I love, bro, nigga, all I had, bro, at a point, all I had was my mom and Ski. This was all I had. At a point, all I had was my mom and Ski. And my mom wasn't physically around, you know what I'm saying? So, on my mom, my nigga, the nigga hit me up and was like, yo, they said, this nigga Drake watched your interview. He said he fucks with you. He said he wants to talk, um, he wants to, talk to you. And I said, word? He said, yeah. I say this on this video, I, apo I apologize to Drake for, for coming for his mom. I saw you as a business opportunity as you saw me as a business opportunity. As you extorted the cadence from that song. I don't, I'm not gonna argue, it is what it is, nigga, the cadence is exact fucking same, and if I'm just an emotional bitch ass nigga, then it is what it is, we agree to disagree, like men, but I apologize, cause talking about his mom was wrong, I needed to do that, I needed to do that so they could take me seriously, and he was a stepping stone like I was a stepping stone, so I apologize for disrespecting your mom, I apologize for coming at you, Talking about you crazy and talking about you crazy and threatening you and shit. And I apologize. As a man to a man, I apologize. Genuinely. If I had the opportunity to speak to bro, I would tell him I apologize. I would have been apologized. Before I wanted to fight his ass. On a thousand. Before I wanted to fight him. Before I absolutely wanted to fight, bro. 
Now, it's like I understand. Now it's I understand more because I grow day by day. People forget, bro, I'm 19 years old. But could it be deeper than that? Because in old English, Drake means Satan or dragon. Basically, what I'm trying to say is, was X saying that Satan was coming after him to kill him? I don't know if this is dragging it, but y'all let me know what y'all think about this in the comments. Moving on, I did want to go back and talk about when X and Ski weren't on good terms. Basically, what happened was, some things happened behind the scenes, which caused X to say that he wasn't going to release any new music till Ski talked to him again, and Ski wasn't rocking with X. Ski went to Instagram and said that X tried to sacrifice him. It's still unknown to what Ski meant meant by that exactly but after going over everything we went over in this video it's making me think that x was actually on that type of timing and at the end of the day it really doesn't matter whatsoever i'm just going over it because why not and you learn something new every day you feel me i knew that something was off the voices in the head came he would tell me like he would not sleep at night and he would tell me he hears voices literally you'd be like oh i took lsd and i talked to a spirit that's a demon that told me information about myself about how long i've lived and that they're gonna come get him at some point i really didn't like that shit at that point yeah, was a very dark time. I did want to go over something that might be related. Another theory was that Jocelyn Flores was sacrificed because he couldn't get to ski. But first things first, I did want to say rest in peace to Jocelyn Flores. From what I understand, the story was that X flew in two girls and one of them was Jocelyn. He paid for everything and even gave them a spot to stay. He even hired them to model for his clothing brand while they were on this trip. Later that day, he went to do something. But when he came back, he had found out that he had money missing. He basically just kind of tried to kick him out and told them that he didn't need them to model for him no more. X went live addressing it and even dropped a song called Jocelyn Flores and it blew up. But a lot of people don't believe that what X said happened was the truth. I love you all. Make sure you have a good day. And I really wanted to um, ask because I found that even when I was in jail and just when, um, when I'm home, I think about, and I, and I hate to be cliche to bring her name up, but I think about the, the girl that the girl that passed away, the girl that killed herself that I wrote a song about. Um, hold on, sorry. I'm making a turn. I find myself thinking about her a lot and I find myself kind of being pessimistic so i just want to know what's the best way to deal with it because i feel i feel so much and it's it's like to a degree it's like i, I want to feel that pain i want to i want to always feel attached to her because i was the last person she saw but at the same time like i want resolve for myself so i just i want to send me answers please that's all i want to say i love you guys have a go but what do you think? X is a legend in a lot of people's eyes. He did leave a positive impact on a lot of people, and I really respect that. That's, That's, all, you. That's all for you, dog. I appreciate you. Right, I man. like that motherfucking W on the back. Yeah. I might promote this shit for bro, you, bro. That's yeah, all boy. you, bro. I appreciate hey, you, I'm, dude, I'm gonna fuck with you. All right, man. Hey. Yo, I appreciate the motherfucking effort, though, bro. Huh? Real shit. Man, thanks, bro. You take your shit serious, bro. No, I do. I have... this, this type of shit is gonna take you far. Keep following Thanks, bro. I appreciate bro. it. <laughs> it, goes, it goes very far, and then just <laughs> even <laughs> Don't get caught up in everything that's outside of your mind. More time you <laughs> I really want you to I really honestly want you to keep on working because if you don't, it doesn't go anywhere. Everything besides what you got planned does not matter. You got to stay in your mind. Hey man, I appreciate so much, dog. That's me what I said. Study your laws of the universe. Laws of the universe. Or get the master key. This video is not me trying to paint him as a bad person. At the end of the day, we all make mistakes. No one is perfect. And as long as you want change, that's already a step in the right direction. X would say in interviews that he did want to start movements, and he did do that before he passed away. X was always trying to help his fans. He was trying to change for the better, but ran out of time. And this is why I say treat every day like it's your last day, because you never know when you're going to die, bro. His goal was to spread a positive message and help the world, but was going through his own battle. And I really just want, at least, if I, if, if all right, let's say, Worst thing comes to worst, I fucking die a tragic death or some shit and I'm not able to see out my dreams. I at least want to know that the kids perceived my message and were able to make something of themselves and able to take my message and use it and turn it into something positive and to, to at least have a good life. I at least, if I'm going to die or ever be a sacrifice, I want to make sure that my life made at least 5 million kids happy or they found some sort of answers or resolve in my life. Regardless of the negative around my name, regardless of, of the bad things people say to me, I don't give a fuck because I know my goal in the end and I know what I want for everyone and I know what my message is. If you enjoyed this video, you'll probably enjoy one of these videos, so tap in. Jesus fucking Christ, don't y'all? Bro, go troll Bruno Mars or some shit. Jesus fucking Christ, y'all niggas is annoying with that shit. Fuck, I just be chilling and trying to make people happy, bro. Get the fuck off my dick. G shit, like damn. I deal with so much fucking hate. The happiest pussy ass niggas can't even handle. You wake up crying like little hoes. Sorry ass niggas. Bye, have a beautiful time.